Hello everyone, this is Mario Game. Welcome. Today I'm gonna to be giving you guys a tutorial on how to survive the nuclear apocalypse. So one second, game is not working so far. Okay, so first step is to uh, kill a bunker. Because first you have to live through the initial blast of a nuclear device. Um uh, what I recommend is make your bunker out in the desert because no one's going to hit a desert usually because the deserts don't usually have any valuable um, structures or anything like that. Also, if any holes appear in your bunker, sand will automatically cover it up. So you need more safety. So like uh, right over here, I might make a, um, to be safe, I'm going to make a, an area of five by three. Okay, so what you want to do is, um, if you want to have a secret bunker, this is what I recommend you do, okay? First we do this, and then right on here is going to be one layer cobblestone. So you don't know if the enemy is going to use um, uh, minor or major explosives. Chemical weapons and stuff like that could be stopped by cobblestone and stuff like that. So it's always good to have a top layer of cobblestone. Okay, so there, top layer of cobblestone. So we do this. I know this isn't creative, but this is make it a lot easier and quicker to show you. There. Now we're gonna cover this up and sand. Except for a little bit. Okay, so right here we're going to need to uh, make this a lot easier for most people because not all people can afford the most richest of materials. So what we're going to do is do this for the hatch. Now what I recommend is having your bunker at least 20 blocks below the surface. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Um, 11, 12, 13, 14, let's do 14. Now you might be thinking, hey, isn't this a lot? Well, yeah, it sort of is, but always better safe than sorry. Now clear out the area. Now, what we're gonna do here is uh, make sure there's enough room. This doesn't have to be the most fanciest bunkers, it just needs to get the job done. Now we're gonna use this concrete but not chisel, not any of these mods. Only type you're gonna use is the pipe from ICBM. Because this can stop most explosives. Breaching charge and nukes can go past it, but what how I'm building this is the thought that you know you're a bit far away from all that, okay? Now let's just cover the walls. Now you could do the floor wherever you want. Because, uh, you know, if if your floor gets destroyed, well, it's already too close, and you're probably going to die. But this is just going to protect you from the initial explosions. This bunker is going to be all, only good for getting you ready to survive the initial blast. And all you need in here is like a, well, we're getting ahead of myself, right? Uh, so, once we do this, now what we're going to do is um, need a, I haven't really seen if this works. Go to the surface and test this out. Because if this works, then yeah, I recommend you do this. Also, I recommend having your uh, bunkers as small as possible. And if you have a lot of resources, have multiple bunkers for resources alone. Now, if this works, there. Well, now it looks like you have your door. And what we're going to do here is. Uh, the piston I recommend is not a sticky piston because, you know, by the time the apocalypse happens, you probably not could be opening that door until the initial explosion is over. And if redstone messes up, um, you don't want the door opening. Now let's get a button. Any button will do. Now we're going to do here is some basic. Oh, there's a cave here. Well, the more resources you can get. After the apocalypse is settled, uh, we're gonna get these. 
and we're going to get some normal redstone stuff. And we're going to do this. So what this is going to do is simply, it's going to um, close this door like this. So there could be a ladder there and all that. I recommend getting rid of ladders. Or here's a better idea. Is there slime block in there? No, no slime block. How about water? Do you have a bucket of water? And have it so you fall in. Because, you know, next time you're going to come in here, you're going to stay in here for a while. Because that time explosion. Um, if the people that had caused the nuke to go off, they're probably going to be searching the area for survivors. So, what you're going to do is slow them down. If they don't have any, like, uh, you know, long fall boots or anything like that. So, it'll force them to fall. And if you know there's peel there, that's going to be closed. But if they can pass that, just get rid of the water. Now we're going to have is um, good old wood for flooring. You know, have a little bit of comfort. Now what I recommend you ha have is a final coated chest and a um let's get some here um uh, what's it called locked furnace uh let's go security craft plaster protected furnace now these are pretty easy to make all you need is like a furnace to put a coat on it and you do that and that now for us this is code is gonna be one 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 and this is going to be one, one, one. And, and one reason why you need a pro, um, pass protected furnace is the simple reason that. One second. Okay. Simple reason. Yeah. It, you're going to be cooking stuff, right? A lot during the apocalypse because you have to recover. But what's 100% of your base while you're gone? Well, you want everything to be protected. And the only way, way these can be destroyed is um, a few different ways. Anyways, here what you guys gonna need to survive initially. And these I recommend having a nine millimeter pistol. At least a few nine millimeter clips. I just say five. That's a small amount. And maybe in bread. Let's go with 10. And don't forget about blocks. Blocks are very useful. Um, two stacks. And sapling of choice. In this case, the whole area gets destroyed. And also torches. Torches are very important to light up the area. Now, if the apocalypse ever sets in, let's do apocalyptic area. Alright, let's get let's go to ICBM. I wanna say it's just a basic um uh, where is one? Um Yeah, let's do that and that. What you're going to hope for is that your bunker doesn't get directly hit. Because if it does, there's a high chance it will not survive. And that's not good. So let's just say the enemy's over here, bunker's over there. I don't know what's going any further. I want to get time to survive. Now let's there and there. 
No. You might be asking, hey, how can I tell if there's a missile on the way? Well, it's simple. You're gonna need three ingredients. A radar detection, a, what's it called? Industrial, a siren, and power source. No, we're gonna have this outside, but you can have this anywhere, okay? Now, the alarm zone, you're gonna set to 200, okay? Now, what that is gonna do is, um, what's your time set? Okay. What that is gonna do is basically, it's gonna allow you to have like a advanced sensory of the missile is on way. Now, there's a missile on board. Well, on the way. Well, it usually works. I probably had something set up wrong. Anyways, wait, wait, John, in this situation, see how much devastation there is in the area? Oh, just a ravine right there. Anyways, I like my hiding better placement. Yes, this was just a quick setup. But you will go down here. Press the button. And everything should be safe. And then once the apocalypse is over, you use your blocks to tunnel out and rebuild society with your 9mm pistol, bread, and other materials. And escape. There's a... Uh, oh, I think I know why this didn't work. But anyways, this was a tutorial. Marlon Gaming, the how to survive the apocalypse. Well, first part of how to, uh, of course, survive the initial blast. I'll do another episode on how to survive the apocalypse. Maybe tomorrow, maybe in a year, I don't know. Marlon Gaming, uh, goodbye.